Hey, what's Crackalackin' Challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today we are doing something that I have dreamed of doing literally for a year. This is something I've had in the works and I've just never got around to doing it, and today we are doing it. <sighs> so don't mind these tanks. These This tank is like my dirtiest, but yet one of my favorite tanks, and I'll get to that later in this video. Um, but then we also have my 20 gallon breeder tank with my guppies and my koi betta fish, but we are doing something awesome. It involves this huge custom ordered acrylic tube. Uh, we're not using all of it, but today we are creating a shrimp bridge, a shrimp highway. This is like an aquarium bridge. I don't know if you guys I've seen this this video went really popular on social media recently where goldfish went into this like acrylic tube thing and they can go between tanks so I've done this before but in really small scales but this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna do something like this big with this bridge idea concept uh, so basically what we're going to be doing we're gonna be cutting this tube I only have one of these angle brackets I had another one but I lost it and then I guess I came up with an idea that it might be better if with only one but what we're gonna do is have the acrylic tube go like this and then the joint bracket and then connect to this tank. So what that's going to do is it's gonna allow fish, or not really fish, but shrimp to swim back and forth. Um, fish could swim through it, but I don't really think they're gonna be able to swim at those angles. The smaller fish, like the baby fry guppies, but I don't think they'll really wanna do that, but shrimp probably will. Um, so you might notice that this tank is always lower because I've been planning on doing this for ever since I moved this tank, um, but these levels are gonna be the same. So how I do this is I connect the tubes between the tanks, I have an airline hose, I suck out all the air, from inside of here and that pulls water up from the tank kind of like doing a water change and it puts water inside this tube It equalizes the water level on both of these tanks So it'll be exactly the same and then also if I ever do a water change and lower the tank down here The water in this tank will also lower because they're both connected I think you guys will have to see it to believe it and kind of understand how it works I'll explain this a little bit later, but I really want to get into this So what we're going to be doing is cutting two pieces of the acrylic tube um, I have a saw and I actually have to look for it But we're gonna be cutting those two pieces connecting them with this joint having the joint in between here and uh, having a little bridge because I wanted to do this and I really haven't done it This is going to be a test because I'm going to be ordering a bigger tube on um, this is only half an inch and fish are actually gonna be able to swim through the next one That's not gonna be for, for this tank, but a different tank. Hopefully it doesn't take a year like this did but <laughs> Uh, this this was suggested by you guys. I got a comment on saying that I should do it So I decided let's just go for it and do it I have to get a marker and also a saw so I can mark out how big I want this to be and make sure you guys drop a like on this video If you haven't already that would be much appreciated So since I don't have two of them, it's gonna look a little bad, but I would have had to cut three pieces I'm an artist Now that these are marked I can now go get the saw and cut this off and uh, then get ready to assemble it Okay guys, I am back. Huge shout out to my brother for letting me borrow his saw, um, but I did cut it. It's it's kind of, it's a pretty straight cut. I used a little um, machine cutter thingy. <laughs> a little table saw, or not table saw, like a saw. Wow, this is actually, this is gonna be really easy. Okay, so here, here it is. This is the whole contraption. Um, so basically how it's going to work is I'm going to put both of these ends inside of each other and I need to get an airline hose run the airline hose in here and, and suck out all the air And then it'll fill with water So I'm gonna clean off these edges and I'm gonna wash everything down before I do it And I'm also gonna put a couple dabs of silicone inside of this just so it stays tight and it doesn't uh, fall off And there are no leaks. This is just an extra step. I don't really need to do it But it, it's just extra. All right guys I am back and I cleaned it out I couldn't really get the sharpie off just because that's like permanent marker and I didn't want to use like acetone or anything Because that could possibly go into the water column. So it is cleaned out out and I have to get the airline hose and start to suck out all the air it's gonna be uh, so like I said I have done this before and sometimes it you don't you suck out too much and water comes with it and I'm not about to drink fish water today and that's gonna be no bueno so uh, hopefully that doesn't happen all right here's my airline hose all right I'm about to put it in oh snap oh shoot dang it <sighs> I need to hold it here. I might need to make a silicone block. I made it a uh, uh, no, I made it a little too short, and I don't want to have to recut it. But it did work. It did work. I don't know if you guys saw. I'll, I'll see if I can zoom it in a little bit. But it did work. Ah, oh, snap. Okay, I'm gonna just extend this a little bit. You know what? We're not gonna half. We're not gonna do a half a job. We're gonna do a whole job. So I'm gonna go back, recut it, and uh, remeasure it so I make it right. Because I want this to last, even though it will be temporary, like I said, and eventually get a better one. Um, but. Ugh. And it worked too. That's the that's the worst part. It started to work and I got the seal um, But yeah, it was just too short Okay, so these are a lot longer you can see it has a lot more 
length to it, so I'm gonna have to rewash this one and silicone it onto this. Okay guys, you've seen how much work I've done for this video, so if you did not drop a like, make sure you guys do. This is meant for shrimp, and if you guys do not have any shrimp for your aquariums, make sure you guys check out Flip Aquatics down below. If you use my coupon code, you'll get 10% off your order, as well as it will support me. And Rob, who owns the company, he's, he's a really great guy, he's a really great fish keeper, he has a YouTube channel also, and he's pretty active there, so make sure you guys check that out as well down below. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'll show you guys my shrimp in a second and why I really want to have this bridge so I can have shrimp between the tanks. Um, so let me connect this and uh, again I did put silicone on the outside um, so it will dry over time and there is water and stuff in here. But I wanted to make sure I got all the acrylic bits out and there wouldn't be any chemicals in this um, that could harm the fish later on. <sighs> Round two and it was such a perfect seal. It worked so well. All right here we go. Oh snap. Perfect. Okay awesome. Oh snap. We got it, we got a seal. Okay. Oh yes. You guys do not know how happy I am. That is a pure seal. All right, let me show you guys what I mean because I've been I've been explaining this a lot, but I, I guess now I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, there is water inside the tube and is connected there and there. So basically, I sucked out all the air, and since I sucked out all the air, there was a vacuum in here, and that sucked all the water out, and this is, this is not a tattoo, this is Marker, JFam, which is my vlog channel, and my Twitch, make sure you guys check those two out down below. But yeah, so it created a suction, and it pulled all this water in, and it's, it's a really cool idea, it's just, um, there's a couple of great people that made videos, so you guys can check out King of DIY, I'll probably link his video down below. Um, he made a bigger aquarium bridge, so I guess it's a little better, <laughs> But this, this is kind of uh, temporary. Um, so this is mainly meant for shrimp and not fish. Hopefully the next one will be meant for fish. And there's my koi betta fish, if you guys haven't seen him for a minute. Um, he's doing really well. He's gotten a lot bigger in this tank. We have some algae over there. And then we also have our breeding guppies, which I haven't really seen. I haven't seen any fry, so we might have to get a couple more guppies and increase the numbers of females to male ratio. Um, but yeah, this tube is going to be really awesome. I, I might add some LEDs underneath here so it'll shine a little bit um, and glow. And you can see we have a couple guppies in here. But let me show you the shrimp population, which is absolutely massive in this tank. So it didn't take long for me to find a huge pack of shrimp. And I have a lot of fake plants, so this this tank is horrible. I, I don't know what it is. It might be the light, even though this is the light I use on every single other tank. I might have to increase the light cycle, but the plants cannot grow in this tank. The only thing that can grow is duckweed, and we have plenty of it. Oh my gosh, look at that shrimp. That is a beautiful shrimp. But we have uh, tons of duckweed, but all the other plants except for guppy grass do not grow. You can just see all of them are dying. So I put a lot of fake plants just for the shrimp so they won't get killed. Um, this is kind of a semi-permanent solution. Um, I, I mean, I'm not really a fan of fake plants, but when it helps the fish, and I also add some decorations. But you can just see the, the plants, and this is a tall tank, so that's probably why it doesn't get enough light. Um, but yeah, you can see the plants are just struggling, uh, which is unfortunate because this tank used to be heavily planted and now it is no longer. Um, I don't really dose fertilizers because shrimp can be sensitive to the, some of the things inside of the fertilizer, so I avoid that. Shrimp are pretty sensitive to water changes, but this tank just has so many of them, and I don't want to lose them, um, so I, I had to put those... Uh, those hiding spots down and you can just see there's just so many different types and they start to breed with each other and they don't and they just create tons of different varieties and you just like look for like five seconds and you can find different shrimp packs and if I fed them right now there would be a lot more out but they're just hiding out in this tank and surprisingly I never see any fish try attacking them even the female betta fish we have in this tank which is a really positive sign and I did add more rocks I don't know when the last time you guys have seen this tank but I added more rocks also for decorations just so they have more hiding spots because I don't want them to die I, I have seen a lot of really really tiny babies and like those ones are so cute to see I do put a couple almond leaves in here this is like really good shrimp food oh look at that shrimp right there I also have two bamboo shrimp in this tank oh my gosh Oh my gosh, look at, like, okay, look how beautiful that shrimp is, A, and B, look at him. He's, he might go in the tube. And then we have a shrimp right there, and then we have a couple other ones just swimming around. Have one on the suction cup. Is he gonna go in? Oh, he's so close. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it looks like he's going to. The betta fish is, oh, it jumped from the betta. He was so close to going in. But you can just see all the different varieties, and I, all, and I got all of these from Flip Aqua. Oh, oh, do you see that shrimp? Right there, that black one. Yo, I really want to get a focus. He's, he's like a black, completely black shrimp. He's hiding perfectly on the sponge filter. There, do you see how tiny he is and how cute? Uh, shrimp are like my favorite. We have one right by the heater. And I haven't really showed this tank just because I feel like you guys would judge me that I... I, I just felt like you guys would judge me the fact that I use fake plants. 
Um, I think I feel like I judge myself, but I mean it's 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 for the safety and betterment of all the fish and shrimp in this tank. It's it's the reason that I'm able to have this many shrimp, and now they'll be able to escape and go to a different tank if they want to. And there's a lot more hiding spots in this, and it's not as crowded. Um, so it's gonna help. And we have a female guppy right there. She does look pregnant, as you guys can see the little black um, gravid spot. Um, but yeah, she she's doing pretty well. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't already. I'll keep you guys updated in future videos with this. And I'll make sure if I'm in the fish room, if I see a shrimp in this, I'll make sure to record it so you guys can see. Uh, if I do find one before I upload this video, I'll put it on. But it's just really awesome and hopefully this uh, works out in the future. Alright guys, I will catch you all on the flippy flop. See you all later. Bye.